We are here on part three of this juggling how-to series. And if you've just joined us, here's what I would advise you to do. I'm going to need you to look right up here in the corner of the video where that eye is and catch up with us where we have the parts one and part two of how to juggle those balls. If you'll just follow those, you're going to get this three ball juggling so much quicklier. Quicklier? Here's what happens when most people try to juggle. They try to do this throw the ball from one hand to another. Now that is a juggling trick called showering. Showering is a much more difficult way to learn to juggle. Mainly because you're doing this fast throw across to this other hand. So we're going to learn what is called the cascade. Let's go back to the beginning. First thing we learned was throwing one ball back and forth, hand to hand, at the same height, in the same arc. Step two, we review the two ball toss. One, two, one, two. Throw, throw, catch, catch. And I wanted to say, if you keep going right, left, right, left, right, left, you're kind of missing half the pattern because once you start juggling three, you, you're in this kind of a pattern right here. Right, left, left, right, right, left. What we're going to talk about next is the three throws. All right, mentioned at the beginning, first ball will be the white. That'll be the first throw. This will be the second ball. This will be the third. We're just doing three throws. And keep in mind, that throw is just the same height as every throw we've been doing. Because what we're shooting for for three is just three throws, three catches. One, two, three. And then we're in this position now. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And I know what's happening. You folks that are right-handers, it's going one, two! That left one is flying out. And left-handers, you're throwing your first one, and the right hand is flying out. It helps some people to go up against the wall. Don't use stucco, because it'll bust your knuckles. And to be against that wall, it kind of keeps you from throwing that ball too far out. Matter of fact, if you get the right wall, you can just kind of keep rolling those balls up the wall like that. A lot of new jugglers want to raise their hands up as they're juggling because they feel like they can get to the ball quicker. And their shoulders come up and their hands come up. You want to keep your hands down a little lower so they're kind of floating in here between, oh, about where your belt buckle is and coming kind of up to your chest. If you just look at where my hands are right now, watch how low they go when I make that throw. That's what we're shooting to get, and that really is going to come with practice. The more you put in on this, the smoother it will get like anything else in life. Because I notice students and new jugglers, they're going to get to where they don't want to throw. It's just to throw without catching. And by that I mean I'm going to throw all three throws because it seems like new jugglers, they throw the first one fine, they rush the second one out, which then makes the third one just go wild, or they end up holding that third one and trying to do this kind of hand slap thing over like that. So what we're going to do is just throw the three without catching. One, two, three. That's what we're looking for here is listening for the rhythm. One. This gets you used to just throwing them. Have fun with it. Then move on to catching one. Let's just say we're get, you're going to catch your first one. Let the other two fly. Here's what we'll do next is catch two. One, two. Let the third one fly. This drill helps you just get them out of your hands. This is what we want. Get them out of our hands. Then we'll work on catching. And if you've done your one and two ball drills, your catching should be pretty good by now. Now one misconception with juggling is people think you're speeding up your throws. It's actually the height of the throws dictates the speed of your pattern. Here I'm doing very little throws so it looks faster. But if I stretch it out a little bit, you can see my hands slow down, but they're in the same rhythm. So right now while you're learning, Throw your balls up a little bit higher. One, two, three. One, two, three. If you start to struggle at three, put one away. Go back to two. Right, left, left, right. Right, left, left, right, right. Build this back up. 
Then go back to your three. One, two, three. If you're struggling at two, go back to one. Always come back to one and do ten throws back and forth through this whole process. Grab a second ball, do your one, two, one, two. Right, left, left, right. Right, left. Ten of each throw. Now go back to your three. One, two, three, four. We're going to shoot for four now. We've done three throws. One, two, three, four. Think about the fourth throw. That's going to be your craziest one because you're going to be throwing the first ball you threw back over. So watch the white ball. One, two, three, four. Okay? Practice that till you get it. Now we'll go for five throws. One, two, three, four, five. We end up like this. Start with the white ball in the front first. One, two, three, four, five. So we want to build up that way. One, two. Two, three, four, five, six. This is called juggling for specificity. In the beginning, let's say you get to about your eighth throw and it goes crazy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and you start walking and then you drop. Now, if you do that for your friends, they're gonna go, hey man, that wasn't that good. Wasting my time. You don't want to waste their time. Here's how you handle that. You're gonna go like this. You're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Woo! Hey, how'd you like that? You ended on it, and they'll go, hey man, that was cool. You got any more? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Woo, that might have been eight. I got lucky. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ha! Ah, there's your fancy ending. Now watch what I do here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I throw the seventh high. I pass that ball. I want you to watch just these two hands. I'll throw the one ball high. And what you'll see is I just pass one ball over to that hand and catch it with this hand. One, two, four, five, six, seven. Ah, I pass it over, and it looks like a fancy ending. Dow, 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 dow. Ah. Another good ending, like I showed you this one here where you throw it, pass one over, and catch, is what I call the snag ending. We're going to throw the white one in the air. I'm going to catch these, and I'm going to catch it like that. That's a powerful move. That's in your face. So I did the same thing when I threw this one up. Because I'm left-handed, I catch better with this hand. I just placed that ball here, and as this one was dropping, I did what's called an overhand snag. Here's kind of a first fancy start that's pretty easy. Throw that first ball, but you're in two hands. You it's a little bit harder when you're new because you've got two balls in that hand. And you just do a high throw and when it comes down you start juggling. One more little three ball trick here. Take three balls in one hand. Throw them back over to the other hand. The first ball will come into my hand. It's going to be back to the palm. Second ball comes here. It's kind of caught between my finger, my forefinger, and my thumb. And I really just have these two fingers left and this little pocket right there. And that's where my third ball is going to get caught. Same back to this. And that's going to be the first throw out, is the last throw you made. One. And now we're going to throw the second throw, which is the thumb and forefinger. And then the one that's in back in your palm there. One, two, three. If you catch and end your pattern with this, one, two, three, it gets you right back into juggling again. One, two, three. I throw one up and I'm juggling. Or just going one, two, three. Uh, you want more? One, two, three. You still want more? One, two, three. Okay. Alrighty. Now, a lot of people ask where to look. I'm kind of sort of staring up here. I can see them all going on there. Alright, so it's, it's not that hard. I'm not really watching one particular ball. I'm sort of staring right here through the pattern. And this is not even a bad little exercise to do. It's just pop. But try to do it in a rhythm. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Because juggling is all about rhythm. Now it is time for you to log some time. Have fun with it. No stress. It's not your job. Okay, here's a little technique I often use to show my students 
of how to kind of get the rhythm. It's called a placement game. So this is my right hand. This will be the first ball, the second ball, the third ball. I'm just going to place this one. Bam. Now I'm going to take the left hand and place this one. So I have two balls down. I have this one in the right hand. This left hand is just going to come over and swoop this one out of the way. I place that one. Right hand swoops this one. I place that one. Swoop. And this hand that places one down just comes right over and takes this one away. But what you're doing is essentially a juggling pattern. Not exactly the one we're throwing in the air. And you can speed it up, slow it down. Notice that the hand I just placed with is just sliding over, taking that one while I place that one. That one slides over. I place this one down. This hand takes it away. Place, take. Place, swoop, take. Place, swoop, take. Place, 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 place. And you can speed that up and slow it down. Okay, I'm going to show you one more little table juggling technique to do. Now, this is a good one to do over the couch or the bed or get a little table. Make sure you have a ball that won't bounce. That's why this one that we did before this, that's a little bit better to do with a bouncy ball. It might want to roll. This one, what we're doing is really, we're just sort of throwing the ball lightly over. Picking that one up now. Picking this one up. And I'm throwing the juggling pattern. Again, it's not exactly this pattern, but it is the pattern. One, two. So I throw, and then I pick that up. Now the left hand will just drop that one over, and the left hand will pick that one up. The right hand will throw that one over, and the right hand will pick that one up. And you can build that up and pick up the speed. And what you want to listen to is even throws. Pop. Have fun with it. Juggling opened a lot of doors for me. I hope it does for you too. Woo, buddy! I'll skip the stomach. Oh, that was that's a classic. Okay, so here's a little assignment. Some of you asked about four balls. So by looking at this, you can kind of tell what's going on. They don't switch. They don't cross over.